What's going on guys, TBF Gaming, there's one of the best intros in all of gaming, Subnautica, but we're jumping into Subnautica modded, excited to jump into some modded Subnautica and get some things done. Uh, we're going to jump into the water and get some things done in a second, let's talk real quick about this season. Uh, I don't know how long the season's going to go, we'll just kind of see how it works and how many views it gets. If, we, if it's struggling a bunch of views, you guys aren't wanting to see it, I'll definitely move on to something else. Uh, but if you, guys, if you guys are liking it and you hit that like button, I'll definitely continue on with something like this. I love this game, it's a survival game. And with the mods that we have, I think it's going to be even more fun. It's going to be some crazy stuff going on. Let's jump into the water for the first time. Now, even though it's a survival game, I still say this is kind of like a horror game. This thing scares us to death. So we're going to go around and grab everything we can. Bam, come here. Oh, or not. There we go. Let's get us some fish. We're struggling to grab things. There we go. All right, and like I said, if you guys want to see the mod list, go down to the description down below. You guys will be able to see what mods we have on here. And I think it's going to add a lot to the playthrough. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to kind of cruise through some of the story beats. I'll still go through most of the stuff. I won't show you, like, every little tiny detail like we would in a regular playthrough of this. But we'll definitely uh, go through as many of the beats as we can together. Kind of see what it looks like. But, all right, let's start grabbing some stuff. Let's start grabbing some stuff. Where exactly are we? Now, we do have a mod that gives us a map. So we'll be able to check out the map, which I'm pretty excited about. There's also some really cool blueprints that we're going to be able to get into here really soon. There's some building stuff. There's some storage stuff. I've got an auto sorter. We've got decorations. We've got all kinds of things in here, and I think it's going to be really cool once we get into it. All right, where is... Hold on. Let's grab a couple more fish because we need to make sure we got plenty of food. Early, early game survival. There we go. All right, yep, yep, we're going back up. We're going back up. I'm probably going to drown at least five times just because we tend to forget to go back up. Were we always this close to the Aurora? It feels like we're really close. All right, also we can grab, I forgot to grab inside of here, we got the med bay, or the med kit. Grab that, always have one of those. All right, and you'll see, this is kind of cool. You'll notice how it's like placeable, because I think it's because of the decorations mod, we can kind of put things wherever we want. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. Hit E to put that away. All right, let's go. Now, like I said, we tested for about an hour yesterday to kind of figure out the controls again for the game, because it's been so long since we played it, and I wanted to, you know, not be completely lost. Yeah, there we go, we definitely need that guy. All right, let's go down here and see if we can get a couple titanium or anything good close to us, maybe. Oh, what is this? We're going to need a scanner for this guy. It is the sea glide fragment. Nice. We have one right next to us. That's perfect. So we'll have to get that going here in just a second. There you go. There's our first rock. Let's get that. There it is. Break limestone. Bam. Let's get this guy. All right. Go like that. Grab the rock. Perfect. Grab the metal salvage. I think there was another one down here. There we go. Is an Bam, a little bit of copper. Of all powered equipment. Got some over here. Has just to a little bit more copper. There's some quartz right there. Let's get that. The big thing that I have trouble finding usually early on is lead, but we're going to get into that really quickly. Like I said, we'll cruise through some of this stuff. What I'll do is I'll get us started here, and then we'll probably skip ahead in the action. I'll bring you guys back when we got a little more established and a little thing, bit going down here. Here we go. Quartz. Thank you. No, I thought that was a rock back there. Are you grabbable? Nope. You're creepy looking, that's for sure. The sounds in this game. The sounds and the audio in this game, absolutely awesome. The music's pretty cool, too. And the just the world and the, the scares, man. The scares in this game. Those guys right there usually jump out and scare us at least once or twice. Let's get a few of these rocks, and then we'll head back. There we go. All right, I do want to go through this little thing here because usually there's quite a bit in here. There we go. Here we go. Titanium. Copper. A couple batteries. Or not batteries, acid to make batteries. Excuse me. All right. All right, uh, let's go a little quick. I don't want to get caught down here. 25 seconds. We'll come back in and get, grab a couple more. There we go. Back up. All right. Where is this in relation to our boat? There we go. Just got to keep an eye on where our stuff's at so I don't drift out too far. It does get dangerous the further you get away from this place here. But, yeah, if you guys never checked it out, this is a really fun game. We played it on both Xbox and PC. Uh, it's excellent on both. Obviously, PC's a little smoother. I, I definitely think it's better on PC, but, uh, and it has mods, but I, the Xbox version was pretty good too, so let's go ahead and get into some crafting some stuff. This one refills every so often, it's at 28% now. We're going to go ahead and use the fabricator and see what we can start making here. Let's see, we got to get to where we can make 
locker, sea glide. We need to be able to make the flashlight will really help and the scanner will help. So let's see, I think we can make a battery pretty quickly. Yep, battery is just the mushroom and copper ore. Let's get that. Because we need this scanner as quick as possible. Personnel, equipment. Let's get the sta standard O2 tank. Will allow us to breathe a little bit longer. So you'll see our O2 on the bottom left. We'll go from 45 up to, let's see, uh, 75. Not a huge improvement. Down the bottom left, you've got your health, food, and water. On the bottom, we've got a, a, the hot bar. And you'll notice it's a little bit longer than usual. That is one of the mods we have on here. Really cool. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see, tools, scanner. Yeah. There you go. That's the big one right there. Bang. Yeah. Awesome. Now we can go around and scan all kinds of stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead. Can we make the other, what is it, the flashlight as well? And then let me see what I need for, we need a knife and we need, there you go. And then we need uh, personnel, tools. I need a knife, which is silicone rubber. And then we need a repair tool, which is silicone rubber and cave sulfur, which we can definitely find really quickly. All right, let's see. Can we already make... For the silicone rubber, I need the creep vine C cluster. We can find that pretty quickly here, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and drop off all this stuff real quick. Now, we also have a mod on here that will automatically pull stuff. So I think even if I put everything inside of here, which I'm going to do right now. There we go. All right, like that, like that. We should be able to pull it and still make it. Yeah, we can. So even though it's not in my inventory, we can still craft it. It's like a pulling system. Really, really cool. Uh, we don't really need anything right now, so let's just wait on that. All right, let's jump back out. And we need to go to the creep vine. It's this giant green vines that we're going to look for. And this is pretty much kind of how to fast track yourself early on is just get through these first tools and stuff like that. And then eventually the story stuff will start revealing itself. But let's scan these guys. Scan everything you can in this game. There you go. Sea glide fragment. We need one more of those, and it's usually in this area. It's not too hard to find usually. All right. Definitely grab as many of these as you can. Just be careful. These things get grabbed by those weird fish that we saw a few minutes ago. Oh, there's lead. Perfect. There you go. Oh, I think that was gold. Was that gold? I think it was. Let's get some oxygen, and then we'll get some of this creep vine right here. There we go. And then we have the flashlight too, don't we? Hold on, let's do this. Let me fix my hot bar in a second. Also, you can breathe right here. Check this out. There we go. Let's move this like that. Come on. Scanner one and flashlight two. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and scan this guy here. Quickly scan that. Bam. Oh, yeah. Watch out for those guys. All right. We need creep vine. So, like, like this. But we need the little yellow clusters is what we're looking for. There it is right there. It's really easy to find at nighttime, but it does get pretty dark down here. This game, like I said, is one of the scariest games that I've played. At least it is for me because we're afraid of the underwater. <laughs> here we go. Grab some of these. And I think they're huge in your inventory, so you can't grab too many. Yep. We'll grab four of them. And let's scan them. Oh, my bad. Scanner. Yep, I hear you. Please don't eat me. All right, let's go back. All right, now we've got the stuff. We should be able to make lubricant. And then now we can go down here to tools, and we can make the knife once we get some silicone rubber. Hold on, silicone rubber. Got it. All right, and then back down here to the knife. Got it. And then now that we have the knife, we gotta go get ourselves Weapons some of the. From standard survival blueprints following the massacre on so the knife is like our only weapon. The knife All right, the I need exception. cave sulfur and titanium. All right, so let's get that. Let's go ahead and put this back in here. Switch container. There we go. All right, we're on the search for cave sulfur. Let's go do it. All right, first thing, we need some of this coral. All right, so now that we've gotten a few of the ingredients we need, we need sulfur. And she just told us where to find it, which is close to us somewhere. Uh, but basically, you just look for these little fish that'll start flying at us all angrily. And then it's going to be 
basically where they're at. All right. Let's go inside these holes and see if we can find them. You'll hear the noise when you start getting attacked. Oh, there it is. Right there. Yep. Where are they at? There he is. What's up, dude? Oh, he got us. Okay. Bam. There it is. Let's see if I can find one more. He, there was definitely another one. Okay. All right. There it is. Got it. Okay. Scan this guy. And let's get back and make the repair tool. All right. Now we should be able to... Let's grab another med kit. Thank you. Let's go ahead and see if we can now make... We can make fins, which would be awesome. But we mainly need the repair tool. So I need titanium. And luckily it'll make that stuff for you. The early stuff. There we go. All right. And let's look at that again. Oh, come on. All right. Any other tools that we need right now? Flare, no. Repair tool, no. Let's go ahead and make the fins. We'll be a little bit faster. And it's really cool. You'll see that it, it pulls all the prerequisite stuff, so you don't have to sit there and make each step all the way up if you have it. To provide environment appropriate equipment using locally mm -hmm. available materials for your safety. All right, let's go ahead and put this down on our hot bar. That's three. That'll be four. There we go. All right, now we have the repair tool. This is huge important. Now we can repair the stuff in here, and then we'll be going. All right, let's do like that. Can we go right click or left click? Here we go. Bam, got it. Look at that. Everything is good now. Repair the radio. Bam, radio going. I think that's everything. Now our power souls will start filling up. We'll have power in here. Awesome. There you go. We'll check the radio messages in just a second. But now this allows us to kind of get into some more stuff. We can start making a lot more tools here in just a minute. We're going to unlock more stuff. But I really want to get into at least a little bit of base building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search around for the sea glide. I'll bring you back if I find that. And then we're going to get started on the base build. But we can now make the habitat builder. We've got to get a few supplies for that. So I'm going to work towards that. We're going to work towards the sea glide. Let's go do it. There we go. Sea glide fragment right next to the base place. Really not far away. Oh, grav trap fragment. I didn't see that one. Bam, got it. Cool. What is it? Same thing. Nice. Watch our oxygen. Awesome. We got the grab trap. Whatever that. I don't think I've ever made that one. There's probably a couple more things down here. We got to check real quick. Yeah, we're really close to the boat. This is awesome. Let's go check these guys out. Usually these boxes are the ones that tend to have stuff in them. So always check these guys out. Oh, another sea glide fragment. Nice. We find extra. Oh, uh, we got titanium out of that. Nice. Didn't know that. Awesome. All right, anything else crazy? Another sea glide fragment. We'll take it. There you go. Give me extra stuff. I'll take it. Nothing in there. Nothing. Nothing. How about this guy? He really wanted us to find that thing. Awesome. Very, very cool. That will help out big time. Let's get that one more piece of metal right there. And here pretty soon we're going to get started on the outskirts of a base place. But first, let's get our sea glide going, man. Oh, man, we get some. We need some gold and silver, though, too. So we've got to keep looking for stuff. All right, there we go. Sea Glide. Looks like we got the stuff to make it. Oh, this is huge advancements right here. This gets us moving around a lot faster. One of the mods also should give it a little bit of a boost as well. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, we need to store some stuff, I guess. Let's go like that. Okay. The sea glide Bam, we got it. Your effective exploration nice. Range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five nice. kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Got it. All right, uh, let's see. High capacity O2. Can we make that yet? We need glass and silver ore. I think we're missing the silver ore. Tools. We've got all the main stuff. I don't think I got the habitat builder yet. Still working on the wiring kit, which is this one here. So still working on silver. All right, we need to find silver now. Oh my god, check this out. This is way out there. I'm not going out there just yet, but I wanted to show you this. Grab that. Oh, my inventory's full. Look at that thing way out there. How crazy is that? It's really cool looking. All right, I want to build like in this area here where it gets a little deeper. I'm a little nervous to go out here, but I think we'll be okay. And I also want to build as close to the surface as possible. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, let's see. Tab. Oh, I didn't even make the habitat builder yet. My bad. Here we go. Sea glide time. 
Let's see how this works. It should be a lot faster than the regular one. So if you hold forward, but if you hold shift, it should give you a little bit of a boost, but it takes up more power. Yeah? Maybe not. Maybe we gotta do upgrades to do that. We'll have to see. Really cool though. This will allow us to find some stuff. Alright, now I gotta make some storage real quick because we don't even have enough room to do anything. Can we zoom out of the water? Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's create a storage thing right here. Oh, we need to go in here, I guess. Let's go like this. Got silver. Yes. Got some lead. And more silver. I think that's all we needed. Sulfur. Alright, here we go. Tools. And... No, still can't. We need... We should be able to make the wiring kit now. I can make the wiring kit, but now i got to go get some more of the creep vine. So let's go get that. For that, we need... Hold on. Go back to this one. We need battery. Battery is... Oh, just acid mushrooms. Oh, okay. Right outside the window. Do this real quick. Grab these. All right, there we go. Habitat builder. Yes, now we can start building a base place. There we go. 30 minutes in. We're already working on this. This took me like seven episodes last time. Is designed to construct habitats capable of nice. withstanding extreme environmental conditions. All right. So let's wait till daytime, and then we'll figure out where we're going to put the base place, and then we'll start on some of the story stuff. All right, there power we go. Just like that, we have power. Let's go ahead and put a door online. here. There we go. We've got a hatch to get in, and bam, we've got underwater living, guys. There we go. And we're going to get a bridge going up, or a ladder going up here in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put some just basic storage in and around here here in a few minutes so we can get going with that. Let's see if we can make it now. Let's see. Now, we can't make the more advanced stuff, but we can at least make the starter stuff here so fabricator I need some gold for the seed fabricator I need magnetite for the decoration one I need computer chip and silver ore radio I could probably make here in just a second can we make it now maybe uh, let's see wall locker that's what we need just simple basic wall locker let's go like this there's, there's one there we go there's two. All right, there we go. Now we can start putting all of our stuff down. That will help out a lot. Move all of our stuff in here real quick. All right, let's go ahead and press the button. See what this we got. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Oh, mobile vehicle bay. Nice. First time I found that one this early. I'm trying to see down here is a little rough. Let's go into these weird caves. Oh, what is that? Oh, we can't go that way. Okay. It's like weird. Now, oh no, my inventory is full. Can I drop anything? Let's drop you. I want that. Where to go? Oh no, I lost it. There it is. Let's go. All right. How do I take off? We need to take that off. Let's go like this. And switch you over, switch you over. And then we can go ahead and take this off. Now we should be able to make the better tank. High capacity O2 tank. Bam! Huge improvements. This will take us from 45 to what? Hopefully like 90. There we go. And we have, oh man, 135. We can stay underwater forever now. What do we got next? The rebreather. We need a wiring kit and mesh. Do we have the stuff for it? I don't think so. Let's see. Wiring kit. So I need some more silver. We've got to go find more of that. And mesh. How do we make mesh? Um, I don't think I have mesh yet. So we got to keep an eye out for that one. Okay. Awesome. There you go, though. Another huge, huge upgrade. Oh, there we go. We got the radio made, and it gave us a message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, life pod 17, stranded near a cave system and under attack. That's not good. Is that it? It's only one so far? Okay, let's go out there and check that out. Also, I think the map shows me there's another one right 
here. That's where we're at. There's a wreck. Oh, there's a wreck right below us. Laser cutter fragment. Come on, scan it. Oxygen. Oh, crap. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die, guys. Dang it. Three, two, one. It's all going black. No, we made it. <laughs> all right. That was close. Let's get back. We got so much oxygen, we almost died. There's a wreck down there, but we're gonna go back until it leads us to it story-wise. Let's go see. We got that other piece of silver. I think this can make the last thing that we were trying to make uh, to kind of be a, a good stopping point for today, I think. Let's go back down here now that we have fabricator on here. Go like this. Bam. We also need to get some more batteries made up for that thing. There we go. All right. Like so. All right. We can make the wiring kit, but not the fiber mesh. That might be... Well, we have to go to the creep vine again for. Let's see. I think if we chop this off, it gives us the stuff to make it. Let's see if that's true. There we go. I think that'll do it. New blueprint. What do we get a blueprint for? Hopefully it's the mesh, because if so, we can make the rebreather, and then we're way ahead of anything we planned on getting done today. This is perfect. Let's see. Go basic. There you go. Fiber mesh made from the creep vine sa sample. There we go. And now we can make oh, pathfinder tool. But I don't want that. I want the rebreather. Bam. Huge advancements. Let's get this put on. All right. And does it automatically equip it? I guess it does. There you go. Rebreather. Check. High capacity O2. Fins. Now we just need whatever goes in the other slots. Nice. All right, we're going to see if we can get to this real quick before we close out the episode. And then that's probably where we'll end it. It's 500 meters this way. Not too bad. Uh, we'll pick up stuff along the way. And there's probably going to be something down there anyways. Give us some more stuff to scan. Let's throw all this. Oh, good. We can get through here now. Oh, my God. Having the sea glide this early is amazing. All right. Ooh, gold. Nice. Is it that guy? Nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 nearby meters. cave entrance. Leading to oh, an okay. Bio. Let's go in here. Here we go. PDA. Bam. Integrating Anything new else PDA in here? Data. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Okay, sea moth fragment. Keep an eye on that oxygen. Anything else crazy next to your ship? I do want to gather everything around here. Let's get some oxygen real quick. We'll go back down. There's some deep water. <laughs> Super nerve-wracking. I would like to know what's down there, but I don't know if we can get down there or not. Okay. We only have 8% left. Okay, so let's go like this. Shut it down. There we go. Nice silver. There you go. Somewhere right here. Titanium. Oh, there's way more of the wreck over there. Look at that. Watch, watch the oxygen. Oh, this game. So stressful, but awesome. Alright, what do we got here? Laser cutter fragment. Is this it? Got it. Two of three. Let's scan these last couple things, and then we'll get back. Okay, give me that. Scanner room fragment. Yes, we need that. Oh, that's all we need? Okay. What do we got? When we get down to about 25. We gotta go straight. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, little guy. Stop it. Take that. Okay, where's the rest of the sea moth? 
Let's get a little bit of oxygen, and then we're going to come back down, even though it's going to be dark. What is that? Open time capsule? Okay. Oh, nice. I don't even know what that was. Oh, is that it? Hold on. Let's get it scanned. Look at this. Scanner room fragment. I guess we don't need it. Oh, we do, we do. Okay, two out of three. Seamoth fragment. Is this the last one for Seamoth? We might be able to make the Seamoth, guys. We got it. Okay, what is this guy? Bioreactor. It's like where all the stuff's at, apparently. Scanner room fragment. Please be the last one. Got it. Scanner room. That's huge. That will help us out a lot early on. See, Moth, I think we don't need it anymore. Let's not even scan it because we can get more out of it later. All right, let's go back, guys. I think we got everything that's going to be at this place, and our inventory is full. So which way is it back to the boat? Look at those freaky things. 600 meters. Let's go. Here we go. Scanner room getting made. This is going to be huge because now we can search for all the stuff. Is it going to connect? Nope. <laughs> uh, why did it not connect? Oh my god, it's happening. We're missing it. I don't think we're too close. Uh, this would be a good way to end the video, though. The Aurora going boom. Man. First time this happened, I thought I missed something and the game was over. Here we go, the big boom. we go we had to rotate it to get it to connect so this should uh yeah i want on that one there there we go as long as we can construct all the way i'm gonna have to go get some more titanium we should have everything else gold coral got it all oh my god this is huge bam and now we've got the scanner room guys all right, guys, I think that's a good place to end it. We'll get into some of the modded stuff here in the next couple of days. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Subnautica modded next time.